Assalamu alaikum. I welcome all of you in this video tutorial. Today our topic is telling. Let's have a quick look what we are going to study today. We we'll start learning with the definition of telling, then we'll take example of it, and we'll also learn how to mark the tally. We also have some exercise questions which we will solve by using tally chart. And in the end, we have a bar, bar, bar graph which will convert into a tally chart. What is telling? It is actually a way of keeping count by drawing a marks. Or you can say it is a very easy way to organize any information. Information can be about any object, people, pictures or anything. It is marked by a single vertical line. In order to understand in a good way, we take one example. If a dice is rolled 10 times, so there are several outcomes we can have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Let's suppose in your first attempt you got 1. So you need to write, just you need to mark one tally in the result of 1. You recorded that data that's showing that in your first experiment in your first attempt you got one one times in your second attempt if you get three you will just mark one tally on three column that's mean you got one one time and three one time and after ten attempts you got that result 1 3 times, 2 2 times, 3 2 times, 5 2 times and 6 1 times and you did not get 4 in any of your attempt. So in this way you record the data. This way is known as tally marks method. Well, how to mark tally? As you see, for every one object, for every one count, we just make one vertical line. If let's suppose if I'm counting an apple so for one apple I just make one vertical line for two apples I will make two vertical lines for three apples I will make three vertical lines for four I will make four but when it comes to five I will not make five lines because if I keep making lines it will it will be very difficult me difficult for me to count um, for a big number so what I will do here I will just cross that previous force and I will consider it as a whole 5. You want to check? Check please. For 1 I will just make like this. One. For 2 I will just make like this. 2, 3 for 3 lines, 3 vertical lines, 4 for 4 vertical lines. But if you see 5, so 4 lines are uh, marked but 5 line is crossed diagonally uh, across the previous 4 lines. Same as for 6. For 5 uh, I just make 4 lines and I just crossed it. Crossed it. One lines I separated it. Same for 7. In that way, it will be very easy for you to count. Whenever you see a diagonal uh, box crossing the four lines, that's mean five and you can easily count five. After that, a single line, five plus one, six, five plus two, seven, five plus three, eight, five plus four, nine, and two uh, cross, that's mean ten. It is very easy now. Let's come to the exercise now. So the graph shows the number of books collected by each student. There are some students who uh, collect the book and you have a data. And John have some books, Claire have some books, Vicky have some books, Kevin some books and Philip have some, some books. So this is the information given by the question. Now they are going to ask some questions. The first question is how many books does John have? It is a very easy question you can say. As you know that uh, whenever a diagonal line is striked over the four lines that's mean five so you can easily count on fives now there are three fives for John five and uh, then another second five ten third five fifteen and then two singles lines so it becomes seventeen so there are seventeen books how many books does John have John has seventeen books what is the next question the next question is how many books does Philip have uh, go to the Phillips, John, Claire, Vicky, Cave and the Phillips. Oh, 
it's very easy there are three vertical lines that's mean uh, Philips have how many books yes uh, Philips has three books now the third question is how many books do Kiev and Vicky have together uh, together means you have to count the wiki and you, you have to count the cav and then you have to add them so first count the wiki books it's 5 and then 5 10 and then 3 13 and for cave 5 5 10 5 15 and 20 20 for cave and 13 for wiki if you add 20 plus 13 it will be 33 that's mean cave and wiki have 33 books all together the last question is what is the total number of books but i will not answer it you have to do it by yourself thank you for watching video take care